All right, so starting off with Robot C, there's a few things that we're going to want to set up. The first thing, we're going to want to set the platform type, and because we're programming for uh, FTC, we're going to want to have it uh, NXT and Tetrix. This will make all the functionality we need available. Also, we can go into Window and let's get into Expert Mode. That will also give us uh, more options later on. Not only do we want to set up Robot C, but we also want to set up and prepare our NXT. So we need to download the correct firmware onto the brick. If your NXT is on and plugged in, it should see it there in the list. Then all you need to do is click Firmware download. Finally, we also need to rename our brick. Usually, uh, in competition, it's a four digit number, so you want to go ahead and press the button rename NXT, put in your four digit team number. In addition to these videos, if you go to robotc.net, uh, they have a lot of resources, a lot of support. So you can go in, find videos, PDFs, documentation. It's a pretty good website to look at if you get stuck. All right, let's go back to Robot C. I restarted it to make sure all my changes uh, took effect. Go ahead and close the Start page. And then we're going to click on the New Document button in the upper left-hand corner. You will see that it creates a document for you and that it has a task, which is a job. And the name of that job is Main. And in the inside that is where all your robot instructions go. On the left side of your Robot C screen, you're going to see a list of functions. And functions are commands for your robot. So we can open these up, finding the commands for the motors. And strictly speaking, this subset is actually variables, not actual commands. So go ahead and drag over the command that says motor and then has two square brackets after it into your task main. Inside the square brackets, we're going to type the name of the motor we want, and we have to be very specific. The NXT has three motors, A, B, and C, and we have to spell it out and type it correctly, motor C, if that's the one we want. And we want to set that equal to the power that the motor should be going. Next, we want to tell it how long we want it to run. So we're going to find under timing the weight one millisecond and drag that in afterwards and inside those parentheses we have to change that n milliseconds to the number of milliseconds we want so we could put 5,000 we could put uh, 3,000 whatever you would like and 3,000 milliseconds would be three seconds that could be the end of our program we turn on the motor for power of 100% and then we wait three seconds and then the program ends. Just to be thorough, I'm going to add a motor command at the end, changing the motor C power to zero. All right, so we started with a task. That's the job we want the robot to have and it's called main. The first thing we wanted to do is turn on a motor and we chose motor C and I'm setting that power of motor C equal to 100%. Then I chose the wait function so that we'll wait for a certain amount of time. And then lastly, I'm setting the motor power back to zero before the program ends. All right, let's press the download button and download this program. Actually, we're gonna, it's going to force us to save it first. Uh, give it a name, save it, and download it to our robot 
and see if the robot follows the instructions that we've typed. You have two choices. You can press the orange buttons on the robot to run the program, or you can even click Start and run it from Robot C.